Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use comments to clarify code. When we start using jQuery, we will modify HTML elements without needing to actually change them in HTML. Let's make sure that everyone knows they should actually modify any of the code directly. Remember that you can start with a comment. So this is from the HTML. So right now we're really just doing HTML and then end the comment with dash dash uh, bracket. Add a comment at the top of your HTML that says only change code above this line. Oh, interesting. They want us to just come up here and put a comment in here. I wonder if it matters what it says. Cool, it's in there, but we want it to say um, only change code above this line. Try to extend it out to here, run the test. I mean, that's just some, this isn't, shouldn't be in bootstrap. This is just straight up put a comment, an HTML comment. You should remember how to do HTML comments, but um, yeah, anyways, passes the test, good to go. Um, some people might be making a mistake by putting it, if you were to move it down here, uh, it wouldn't matter programmatically, but it would be wrong because it, you should have the comment at the top of your HTML. So yeah, we can come back in here and put it back up at the top and it'll pass. Uh, it needs to have the exact same text, so make sure you didn't just like misspell it. This is a very common error. Oh, it seems like it doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, it should close as well. Um, if your comment doesn't work, then your code's not working at all. So you want to make sure you've got your comment closer on there. You should have the same number of comments, comment openers and closers. Oh, so that just means you should not have it be like, not have a closing comment here. Cool. Yeah, that, that's what, that is what would make this test fail. Um, so yeah, looking at the color of your code is a good way to figure it out. Anyways, that's how you pass the test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next one. That's it for Bootstrap. This is just a light touch on Bootstrap. I love Bootstrap. I use Bootstrap a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I'll probably do some more lessons on that in the future once I wrap up all these free code camp videos. Um, but for now, that's uh, good to go. You've just earned your... I guess bootstrap qualification, even though they really only touched on bootstrap. It looks like they're basically using bootstrap as a shell to teach jQuery. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be working with the same one in here. So yeah, we'll get after that in the next lesson. Hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you then.